Hello and welcome back to Game Brigade. If you're new, I am Brian Greer and on this show we do reviews, previews, playthroughs and have conversations about our favorite board games. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to join the community, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about Victorum, the latest game by Chip Theory Games. I've been looking forward to this one because I have become a fanboy of Chip Theory Games. So without further ado, let's hit the campaign. Okay, so right off the bat, we are on day one of the campaign. They have already actually hit five hundred thousand dollars with two thousand four hundred and thirty-three backers with eight days to go. So with that said, we have to understand that this is going to be a very short campaign. Stretch goals are going to be limited because there's going to be less time for funding. Um, but Chip Theory, this is the second uh, campaign in a row where they have run these extremely short campaigns. I think anything under sub 10 days is very short. And I think 15 is probably where I'd like campaigns to be. Uh, but Chip Theory said that they basically feel that, you know, with their small staff, that eight is a manageable number, so good on them. Uh, and Chip Theory also is known to be having specific types of pledge levels, one of them being the strategist. So if we go all down here, you can actually see it's all gone, um, but I just wanted to talk about it because I think it's kind of funny. So down here, you can see there are 300 backers. Normally, Chip Theory limits this pledge to 10 backers, uh, but they had a glitch in their system here. And in fact, 300 people were able to get this pledge. Now, this specific pledge doesn't really matter in terms of what we're looking at for this video. But basically, if you become a strategist, you are able to uh, get every single game from this point on uh, going in the future that Chip Theory releases for crowdfunding. Um, and specifically, they say Kickstarter. That means, you know, I don't know if that meant, you know, if they were to ever leave Kickstarter, what that would mean. Um, but they've limited it to 10 backers because it is hefty because you are eff effectively going to be getting future pr uh, stuff for free down the line. You still pay shipping any add-ons on top of that. Uh, but they, in fact, had 300 people get this one. And in the first update, they stated that they are going to be honoring those 300 instead of uh, pulling them back. So good on them. I appreciate companies that understand that. So, side tangent aside, uh, I want to uh, move on here and let's talk about Victorum and what this game means and if it should be for you. Um, this is going to be a solely, solely, a solo only game. So when we're talking about this, must take it in the framework of uh, this is going to be an expensive purchase and when you're looking at games like this, is something being solo okay? Now. I am new to Chip Theory Games' repertoire in terms of their different types of games that they have um, and the style of games that Chip Theory offers. But I have noticed that uh, a lot of people do enjoy playing their games solo. Um, so I don't necessarily think that it's actually a, a strike on this game that it's going to be offered as solo only. And in fact, there's kind of a little twist at the end that we'll get to. Um, but I do want to just say that from what my experience with Too Many Bones and whatnot, people really do enjoy Chip Theory Games solo experiences. So take that with a consideration. Maybe you're not a solo player right now. I'm not a solo player. Um, but I'm learning to become one because there's a lot of different experiences I think we can learn from solo games. So there we go. So as we take a look at this, this game is going to be setting you in the, uh, not medieval, way, way before medieval. Uh, this is going to be 700, like 79 AD actually I think is what it is. So Roman era times and uh, Mount Vesuvius is going to be erupting as you can see here. And... Uh, I believe there is, uh, a, uh, who cares, you know, do you care about the lore? I don't know. People sometimes do care. Anyways, we are going to be trying to save humanity by going on a quest, defeating uh, other warriors to show that we are worthy of saving humanity. Uh, then we're going to have to fight a uh, monster to prove that our worth. That's that's the effect of, of <laughs> the lore, the awful rundown. And so you're gonna see that they have these mats. These mats are going to be the arenas that you're gonna be battling on. And these mats are actually unique to whatever location that you are on the map. So for example, they are down here on this location. I don't know the names of the locations at this time. I know a few of them, but not all of them. And so every location that you're battling, that you're skirmishing in, is gonna have different effects in terms of how the uh, arena is 
is played. You, you're, so if you look down here, this one uh, looks like you have some sort of wall here in the middle and you have different effects. This one's on lava. So a lot of different types of AI uh, attributing diff uh, changes based on where you're going to be battling. Okay. So let's come on down here. So they talk about this. You're going to have four uh, mats. These are all going to be double-sided to accommodate all the different locations you're going to be playing. And then you're going to have this game mat. The game mat is actually very interesting because all of your stuff will be living on this board. So you're going to have your chips in both these locations. You've got your upgrades here for your hero, your uh sheet that you basically fill out basically you know what your hero has been upgraded with will be living here uh, and then squarely in the center is going to be where you're going to be placing the mat that you'll be defend that you'll be battling on based on your location and the idea of this game is that you're going to draw your hero from a bag and the heroes that you didn't select from are going to become three of them are going to become the villains that you must now defeat before you go on to the final boss i think it's pretty interesting that you are going to be facing uh other potential playable characters that you could play. So uh, that'll give you an idea of what some of the characters are capable of doing. And every character has a home region. So you've got, uh, in fact, they actually it's right here in front of me, Vesuvians, Amazonians, Atlanteans, Parthenians. Um, I can't say some of these. I can't read all of them either. So every person has their region. So those are going to be signified by these different locations. So you're going to place whoever your guy is in their specific home territory. And then you're going to have to be using the, there's little road maps that you can travel along to get to your next target. And this is going to require weeks of travel. So I think every pip is a week and the longer you take to reach your designation, uh, the bosses are going to get more difficult. So there's an incentive to try to get there quicker, but the combat damage that you receive in this game is permanent. So if your character has five health and you take damage in combat, you now have four health or three, depending on the amount of combat damage you've taken. So it's going to be incentivizing you to rest, to recover some of your health, but again, that means your, your enemy is going to get stronger. So you have that little bit of a ticking uh, clock at the end to incentivize you to keep moving. Uh, you're also going to be able to recruit different types of uh, units to support you. And there's a, a whole bunch of different types of chips. Now, chip theory, if you, if you are unfamiliar with the way chip theory works, is everything in their product is going to be at a higher quality level than what you're normally used to. You're gonna notice that these are neoprene mats. All of the character units are going to be on poker chips, very thick, sturdy poker chips uh, with pretty good art on them. Uh, the health are going to be poker chips. Everything is going to be plastic. In fact, I don't know necessarily know if this is going to be true for this game, but I can look at the other games and say with certainty what I've experienced with other chip theory games, that even the cards are made of some sort of weird plastic material, so you don't even need to sleeve the cards that come with the game because they are already robust and uh, made to last. So these ones right here. Now, I can't guarantee that those are not going to be standard cardstock, but what I've seen with every other example of Chip Theory games is that these have been very sturdy plastic um, material, okay? So we're going to keep going. So then here you have some of the monsters you're going to face. You've got your attack dice. Again, everything is high quality and premium. You're going to have your health chips. Now, these health chips are at a lower quality, I would say, than the standard chips, but they actually provide an upgrade if that's something you're interested in. I would highly recommend it. I have the premium health chips for too many bones, and I would never go back to using the standard health chips after receiving those, okay? So this is going to talk about the how to play. I've already kind of uh, talked about that, uh, but this is going to you know talk about the sign influence. Every pip here is talking about how many weeks it's taking to receive, uh, to, you know, the, the power of your scions. Uh, then you're also going to be facing in four acts. So you're going to have the first three acts, I believe, are going to re reference the uh, defeating of these guys, the other playable characters. And I believe the fourth act is you're going to be facing the final boss, uh, is the idea of that. So you can kind of see an example here of those pips where you're going to be traveling along to different territories. And you'll notice that there's a different icon here. Uh, so depending on where you decide to go. So if you're, let's say you're here in the Amazonian land and you want to decide if you want to go somewhere else. If I go down here, this is going to trigger this type of event. If I go over here, it's going to triple the same event. Uh, if I go over here, it's going to trigger, uh, tri triple, I keep saying triple, trigger this type of event. So you can kind of decide 
well, what kind of event do I want right now? Do I want something that's going to be uh, uh, a, a static effect that will trigger if I accomplish a feat of power? Or do I want to go straight into a gladiatorial battle, which if I win is going to permanently upgrade my forces? But if I lose any units, they're permanently dead for the rest of the game. So there's that gravitas weight there of uh, you have to figure out the puzzle. I think it's really interesting. Again, I'm not a solo player, but I think there's a lot of things interesting here about it. Um, so that's pretty much the rundown. I think I've given you guys a pretty good example of how this game works, uh, everything about it. Uh, so let's scroll down to the pledge levels now and talk about what we're going to be looking at in terms of pledging and what I might recommend. So Victorum is the game that is being highlighted in this campaign. You can get that for $95. That is going to be a $20 savings according to them for MSRP. I tend to believe, Chip Theory, this seems to be accurate. So take that in consideration. Uh, with that said, let's talk about Kickstarter exclusives. Because one of the biggest reasons as to why we back Kickstarters are for those Kickstarter exclusives. Chip Theory Games does not put Kickstarter exclusives inside their game. They basically said that we're going to be able to provide these games at a lower than MSRP value with discounted shipping so that it should still be cheaper to buy this now than waiting for retail. And But from everything I've seen, that is 100% true. Their shipping is very reasonable, at least for US backers. Uh, rest of the world and Asian backers, unfortunately, are very much not as reasonable as us, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. But with that said, this is probably the best way to get this game, is to getting it through Kickstarter. Now, you can wait through... Um, you know, get it through retail at that point, uh, and which is not a bad idea if you want to wait for reviews or, you know, whatnot to come through the channels to make sure this is a game for you. But if you're a person who really likes to make sure they're getting the best deal, this is it. So Victorum at $95 is what we're looking at. This is going to be a large box. Remember, there's a lot of neoprene in here, a lot of, a lot of uh, different types of chips. So this is going to be a large box, probably not as big as uh, Cloudspire, but I would say close to. Um, and then they're going to be offering us this uh, second version here of this remaster. Now, I can't say the name very well, but Homoculus, something like that. This is actually the original game in the line. This came out in 2012. Um, and this was a solo mode or a cooperative or a PvP-based combat system, kind of similar to what we're looking for Victorum. And what they're doing is they're remastering that game. They're cleaning up the combat system and they're actually going to be making it very similar if not the same as victorum and with that they're going to be letting us use components uh such as um, tacticians or gladiators from uh the remastered game i'm not going to say the name in victorum or vice versa so you can if you own both you can actually use components from either game i think that's really cool i would love to see that more often in games the only unfortunate part is these the contents of these box there's no way that you can um combine them to be in a single box so you're gonna have to if you're gonna play it you know combining stuff you're just going to make sure you know what goes what so you don't have an incomplete copy sitting somewhere uh, but you can pick this up and so this is going to be uh basically several versions of this this game that came out because they had several expansions and they had uh uh, they had two versions and s as well as expansions so they're basically making a remastered version of the best of so not one of you know, not everything but basically the best of unfortunately we don't have a lot of information about what is exactly coming into this remastered version because chip theory games said they really wanted to focus on the new title victorum and then they planned on letting us know in the drip here soon of what will be coming down here so if you're kind of on the fence of this one i totally understand because there's not a lot of information about what's included in the remastered check the uh, campaign page because they do plan on releasing more information down the line. Again, we can kind of see an idea of what we're going to be getting these contents. This does not include um, stretch goals, so take account for that. There could be added more, more components. Now, you do have an option here to buy them together, if that's interesting for you. For $255, it's a $35 savings off the 290 MSRP. Uh, it's, it's compelling, and I don't think this is actually a bad price. Now, here's the thing that I was hard on with 
um, burn cycle, the game that came prior to this one, is I didn't feel like from what they were showing on the campaign, there wasn't an incentive enough for me to want to jump in on burn cycle. The art was really rough looking at the time. Um, and the, and the, and the gameplay didn't seem like it was fully there from what I've seen of Victorum, the gameplay looks interesting and I'm kind of interested in, into diving into the puzzle that they have here. Um, and I already know that the quality of the components and everything in terms of the higher end deluxified feel of chip theory is going to be there. Uh, so we just have to, you know, go with that. So $255, that gives you both games, one of them being the remastered, which is include a bunch of different types of content in there. Now in the add-ons, I already mentioned this before, the premium health for $25, I recommend it. It's not needed, but the chips that come with the uh, standard edition are gonna be much lighter. When you're feeling all the other chips, they're gonna be heavy. They're gonna feel like what you would feel in Vegas, like a poker chip, while the other ones are gonna feel like something you'd feel like in a Milton Bradley game. They're just, they're different. So the premium health chips bring that extra weight to the game to match them with what the other contents feel like. Again, not needed. Um, in fact, I, if anyone wanted, I have so many of the premium health chips that I would, I would give them away, or not the premium, the regular health chips, because uh, I don't use them anymore. They're bagged upstairs. Um, and then you get the premium chip bag. This is a standing bag, so it's standalone. So it's going to be standing on its own. So if you want to draw from a bag that's a little bit more, uh, you know, Gucci, I guess you could do that. Not necessarily eat needed at all. Okay, but if you like the idea, I don't necessarily dislike the idea. This really depends really on how much am I going to be drawing from this bag. If I'm drawing from it a lot and it's going to stand on its own, it's weighted in the bottom, I can see that being kind of cool. So stretch goals, they had some stuff here. Some of the stuff I was like, eh, that seems fake. This Battle of Many Nations, I think they've already shown this like in the preview page above. So I'm like, you guys already had that card made. That's not really a stretch goal. Come on now. But it looks like they're adding some more stuff. We got some more Banes. Uh, the thicker hero grade that's kind of cool to make sure you, you, know, you know the difference between this is a hero versus this is a gladiator. I think that's great because it's going to be a little thicker, which is cool. Uh, more uh, enemies for us to fight, which is cool. So keep them coming. Um, and then we're going to get to the conversation everyone hates, which is VAT taxes and shipping uh, chip theory games is being very upfront about what is going to be charged with what so if you have any questions regarding that please read this united states minnesota residents will be charged sales tax because chip theory is based in minnesota united kingdom vat will be charged at 20 percent and european union vat will be charged at 19 percent uh, um, in all eu countries which is interesting because i think not every country has 19 uh, percent in the eu i think there's some variety in there but they're doing a flat 19 uh, and then they talk about who will be fulfilling with the United States. Quarterback, Quartermaster Logistics is doing the U.S. I love Quartermaster. They seem to be doing very well for me in terms of every product I've received. So not too upset about that. Shipping. Man, we're just flying through this, aren't we? Okay, shipping. $10 for U.S., $24 for both the United Kingdom and Europe. They have stated that the shipping is actually $20 for these people, but the $4 is going to be handling the VAT shipping charge, so they're just bundling it at $24 for these two. So normally it should be $10 and $20, but then it should say plus $4 for the VAT side. And then again, going from there, Switzerland, Norway, Canada, 30 australia and new zealand 40 asia and rest of the world 50 and then of course they have people that they uh, unfortunately do not ship to but where i don't know where that's exactly located um but that's to be noted so unfortunately again these guys down here 50 bucks that sucks i'm sorry but let's talk about what i like about chip theory games so because their games are heavy they've got the neoprene they've got the full plastic everything's going to be weighted down chip theory does what they do uh, a flat rate shipping so no matter how much you buy in the pledge manager the shipping will cost ten dollars now with that though you have to understand that if you're buying a game like say too many bones that's already been released and available you have to wait till this game fulfills to receive your your game but alternatively, you're not paying any extra shipping. So I did that when I did my CloudSpire pledge. I added on too many bones. And I basically just paid my flat $10 shipping for these massive boxes of games that showed up my door. It's kind of a cool system that they're doing that. And they offer that. I think it's really, uh, really nice. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was 
um, entering the PM. One thing I noticed in the uh, FAQ was that if you wanted to enter into the PM, sometimes you're able to pledge $1 to enter the PM, the pledge manager, so that you are able to back uh, later if you decide that. Make sure you guys are aware that to back this to get to the PM access, it is $5. So with that said, I think we are done with this episode. I guys hope you like this episode. I try to take more time to really dive into the campaign more, to bring you guys as much information because I felt like this one was a little harder. It was a lot of text for you guys to go through. So I was like, you know what? I want to try to bring you guys as much um, information up front as possible so you can make the right backing decisions. I am very much intrigued by this campaign and there is a probably 75% chance that I'll be backing it. It really depends. Um, I think I, I think there's a there's a high chance, maybe higher than 75. I'm really I'm really looking forward to this one. I like Chip Theory Games. Uh, I really want to support a company who I think does right on on their employees as well as the the backers. So I think I think I might just dive in on it. Let me know what you guys are gonna do in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? And again, I really appreciate you guys watching till the end of the show. It helps me greatly. Uh, if you want to support the show, make sure you hit the like button and join the community by hitting the subscribe button. Again, if you want to help me do this full time, check out the Patreon. We have a bunch of stuff down there. Check it out. It's all down here. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.